Well, 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 if it isn't the intrigue of the mind we're about to dive into. So, you've read about hypnosis, stage performers folks baking like dogs and all that foolishness. It's all rather fantastical, or silly, depending on your temperament. And as much as I'd love to pull out a pocket watch and start a swinging, we're here to debunk some misconceptions and shine a light on the profound ways hypnosis can alter consciousness. A kind of mental spelunking, if you will. So strap on your headlamps, folks, we're going deep. Think of hypnosis as a bridge. No, not the kind trolls live under. This is a bridge between our conscious and unconscious minds. Imagine you're in a bustling city. That's your conscious mind. It's active, aware, in the driver's seat. Now, just across the river, there's a quieter town. That's your unconscious mind. It's full of memories, feelings, and thoughts, some you might not even be aware of. Hypnosis is the golden gate that connects these two. But before we walk this bridge, let's get into our exploration outfits and understand what an altered state of consciousness means. It's like getting a mind makeover, where your usual mental outfit is replaced with something, well, a little different. Ever tried meditation? Or maybe you've drifted into a dream during REM sleep. Those are your mind trying on different states of consciousness. However, hypnosis is like the haute couture of mind states, my friends. It not only allows for the relaxation we find in meditation, but adds a sprinkle of suggestibility. Just like a fashionista open to new trends in the state of hypnosis, your mind becomes more open to suggestions. And that's where the fun begins. Hypnosis is like a multi-stage magic show. First, we've got the induction phase. No, not an induction cooktop. This is where your mind is gently coaxed into a trance-like state. Consider it the opening act, if you will. The hypnotist uses techniques to guide you into relaxation and focus, much like a mental masseuse. Then enters the main event, the suggestion phase. Here, the hypnotist weaves their magic, providing suggestions that your mind is now more open to. Now, imagine you're at this magic show. Some people might feel deeply relaxed, some might lose track of time, and others might experience vivid imagery. What you feel is entirely subjective. It's like going to a modern art museum. One person might see a blotch of paint, and another person might see, well, a more sophisticated blotch of paint. So are you ready for the show? I hope you brought some popcorn. We've covered the general idea of hypnosis, but let's add another layer to this mental tiramisu, shall we? The characteristics of the hypnotic state are as delightful as they are varied. Imagine going to a spa, but for your mind. Deep relaxation? Check. Heightened focus and concentration? Double check. Vivid mental imagery? Oh, we're talking 4K Ultra HD. Now sprinkle in some increased suggestibility, and voila, you're in the state of hypnosis. But like any good piece of art, there's always some debate. Picasso, Dolly, the hypnotic state. They've all had their fair share of controversies. Is hypnosis truly an altered state of consciousness? Or is it just a cocktail of regular psychological variables shaken, not stirred? Who's to say? But here's where things get really juicy. You see, hypnosis isn't just about understanding the mind. It's also a handy-dandy tool with plenty of practical applications. Think of it as the Swiss Army knife of psychology. Ever needed some help managing pain? Hypnosis can help. Looking to modify certain behaviors? Hypnosis is there for you. What about self-improvement? Well, my friend, hypnosis is your motivational coach. It's like having a whole team of specialists ready to jump in whenever you need them. And let me tell you, the future of hypnosis? It's as bright as a summer's day. With advancements in technology like virtual reality and the integration of hypnosis with other therapies, we're looking at a revolution in consciousness exploration. But like any good explorer, we must tread with care and consider ethics on our journey into the mind. Now, some of you might have been introduced to hypnosis via a late-night infomercial or that blockbuster movie where the unsuspecting victim clucks like a chicken. But let me reassure you, in the real world, hypnosis is less about poultry impersonation and more about unlocking the door to your mind's theater. Now picture this. You're lounging on a beach, soaking up the sun, not a care in the world. You feel a warmth spread through your body, a heaviness settling in your limbs as you succumb to the rhythmic lullaby of the waves. Your mind sharpens, focusing on a single point, excluding all distractions. And that's hypnosis, baby. This hypnotic state is a kaleidoscope of sensory experiences. It's like the northern lights in your brain, colors merging, shifting, transforming, 
as you surrender to a heightened sense of suggestibility. From vivid sensorial imaginations that would give the most sophisticated VR a run for its money to deep, profound relaxation, you've got the best seat in the house to this mind-bending spectacle. But wait, there's more. Thanks to our friends in the world of neuroscience, we're no longer just spectators. Oh no, we've now got backstage passes diving deeper into the brain to understand the what, why, and how of hypnosis. We're talking fMRI scans, EEGs, the works. Now it's like being at a concert. You see the executive control network of the brain, our lead guitarist, strumming away, guiding attention and control. And then there's the default mode network, the drummer, beating away at a slower pace, all the while enhancing the trance-like absorption in hypnosis. Who knew the mind had its rock band, right? But of course every party has its party poopers. And in the world of hypnosis, the debate on state versus non-state theory is the one that keeps the champagne flowing. Is hypnosis a unique altered state, or is it just the psychological variables dressed up for the masquerade? To be honest, we don't have a definitive answer, and that's okay. After all, who doesn't love a good mystery? But enough about theories. Let's get practical. Hypnosis isn't just some fancy parlor trick. It's a bona fide, multi-purpose tool. From reprogramming negative beliefs in therapy sessions to assisting anesthesia in surgical procedures, hypnosis is the secret weapon you never knew you had. And did I mention it's a fantastic personal coach, helping you build confidence, focus, and relaxation? And just when you think we've peaked, the future of hypnosis arrives, lit up like a Christmas tree. Imagine virtual reality meeting hypnosis, an inception-like journey into the mind. Or integrating hypnosis with yoga and mindfulness, a harmonious symphony of mental well-being. The possibilities are endless and exhilarating. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Hypnosis, in the wrong hands, could be a recipe for disaster. So while we're pioneering into the future, let's not forget to pack our ethical compasses. So we have these remarkable scientific insights into hypnosis, right? You've got your neuroimaging studies showing us that different parts of the brain are lighting up like a festive Christmas tree during hypnosis, and your brainwave patterns are doing a sultry tango of relaxation and creativity. It's like the brain's own personal party. It's fascinating, and yes, it does give some backing to those who've been waving the hypnosis is a unique altered state flag. But I do want to remind you that science is an ongoing dialogue, and we're just starting to scratch the surface of the grand mystery that is our mind. And here comes the thrilling part. Hypnosis isn't just a curious spectacle for our nerdy neuroscientists. No, no. It's also got some real-world practicality going for it. You see, hypnosis has a bit of a superhero complex. By day, it's a regular tool in the therapist's toolkit, helping individuals overcome mental blocks, explore their unconscious patterns, reframe negative beliefs, and instill positive habits. Quite the resume, isn't it? And by night, hypnosis transforms into a pain-fighting, habit-breaking, self-improving superhero. Managing chronic pain? Check. Helping with anxiety, depression, PTSD, and various psychological disorders? Check. Assisting with behavior modification and personal growth? Check and check. You see, it's not just about the science or the theory. It's about the real, tangible benefits it can bring to people's lives. And that's pretty spectacular, don't you think? And let's not forget about the future of hypnosis. Picture this. You put on your virtual reality goggles, and you're instantly transported into a serene forest, the hypnotist's voice echoing around you, guiding you into a state of deep relaxation. It's not science fiction, folks. It's the future of hypnosis, where technology is coming together with this ancient practice to create even more immersive and powerful experiences. Just imagine the possibilities— but of course, with great power comes great responsibility. We don't want our hypnosis superhero to turn into a supervillain, do we? Hence, the need for stringent ethical guidelines and a responsible approach to using hypnosis, especially as we explore new frontiers with its application. In conclusion, hypnosis is much like a Pandora's box of wonders, revealing fascinating insights into the human mind. And it's not just about making people cluck like chickens on a stage. It's a powerful tool for exploring consciousness, enhancing self-understanding, and promoting personal growth. And despite the controversies and debates, it continues to captivate and inspire us, pushing us to unlock the immense potential of our minds. 
So as we wrap up our exploration of hypnosis for today, remember that this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are so many more layers, more discoveries to be made, and more ways to harness the power of the mind through hypnosis. It's a fascinating field that's constantly evolving, always providing us with new insights about our brains, our behaviors, and our potential for growth. So, until next time, stay curious, stay excited, and as always, stay informed. Because the more we understand about our minds, the more we can tap into their full potential. And who knows, the next big breakthrough in hypnosis could be just around the corner. You don't want to miss out on the exciting journey ahead.